Please tell me this fucker's working. Sound. Hopefully I'm not doubling up on audio and we should be good to go. Hello, everybody. My name is Ben. Welcome to week four versus Brett. Week five? Week five, because week four was versus OG. Um, sir? Okay, so go over the team really quickly like always So far um, This battle is like three days late. It's Tuesday now two days late um, From when we're supposed to finish we're supposed to finish on Sunday um, We had the cha time change thing happen and Brett got his schedule all sorted out uh, Assuming I knew about the time change which I didn't but that's water under the bridge. It doesn't really matter Splork is coming with earthquake HPI so turn and stealth rock uh, Zygarde's a problem, and mainly, oh, fuck off, um, mainly, uh, yeah, Zygarde is just a problem, nothing else to say about that, uh, we got Mega Scizor here, it, I don't have all, all the EVs in, uh, yeah, Agility, Bug Bite, Iron Head, Knock Off, he doesn't really handle this kind of Scizor set well, so I'm hoping it works out, I don't know about that, SMB, uh, of course, Bat time, Porygon 2 is coming, especially defensive with Trick Room, Ice Beam, Recover, and Discharge. I don't think there's much to say about that. Choice Scarf, Placephalon with Trick, Mind Blown, Fire Blast, and Shadow Ball, Mind Blown, in case I need to hit something. Uh, Elric, Grass Memory. Enough speed to outspeed something on his squad. I can't remember. If it comes, I'll remember. Parting Shot, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon, Shadow Ball. Uh, it's basically a very good switch in for um, uh, Zygarde, period. And I'm curious... Out something let's see that's the wrong team because I know I imported it before um, but I guess I must have overwritten it. f5 stop missing grass into a uh, Zygarde I just want to see how much um, ice beam does at 104 Ooh. okay that's fine um, I'll leave him at that. Actually, you know what? No. I don't want him to have just a bit more power. Uh, yeah. And I pop a berry, Troy built. Roto Mo's coming for the first time with Leaf Storm, HP Ice, Volt Switch, and Pain Split. Uh, I'm not so quite so sure about this spread, but we'll go with it. Sure, why the fuck not? So, anyway, challenge Brett. Yikes. Pfft, that could have been bad first. Brett. Yaga Yeet. Okay. Whew. So, apologies to Brett, uh, before, for kind of sounding like an ass. Okay, so he actually brought Krogonal and didn't bring Zigurd. Have fun. Uh, I can just only hope not to get axed. So, main reason I didn't bring Latios, right here, this thing. That thing is troublesome, and all that. I, for what, the battle? Also, uh, if you can see, I'm sure you can see my cursor. That circle's gonna be going all game. So, um. Sure. Ben versus Brett. Why? Cool. Um, because I've got issues going on that I, for whatever reason, cannot fix right now. So, yeah. Uh, SMB goes in on his team. Quite literally. As soon as this thing is gone. And this thing's kind of gone. SMB eats everything for breakfast. Um, issues this. Uh, and Blacephalon isn't great against this thing either, which is a problem. <sighs> SMB is pretty safe. Eh... I'll just go Splork, I guess. As he starts muck. English is a hard language for me, as it turns out. So, uh, if he stays in, he's got balls of steel. I just want the rocks up. I want to be able to pressure his team and get him low quickly. Uh, so a SMB can come in and hopefully do some damage. So, uh, originally, uh, just to give some context. Alright, it comes out immediately, that's fine. I don't have 
have a sp well, I do have a spin fire. Isn't this free for Blacephalon? And then I can double out into something else. Um, let's build another team over here. Because that's what I like to do. I know it'll take up time, and I'm sorry. I am truly sorry in advance. Cryog. Uh, because I really just don't want to lose. Bronzon, Serp, Mach, Alola, uh, Serp, and Sylveon. Those Krogan will get, of course, gets rapid spin and all that. Um, it's Night Slash. Uh, nothing really that can hit Jerry, so fuck it, we'll go Jerry. Why the hell not? Haha, <laughs> it's been blocked. <laughs> um, cool. So, wrong person, Lace, into Muck. Lola, Pursuit Trapper. It's a salt vest. <sighs> I feel the manual switch in this is always pretty free and fine, to be honest. Yeah, you should switch out here. You should also know... Okay, so it's not Scarf. That doesn't save. What about not Scarf? What if I do that? Nope. If I stay on Blacephalon, or on Kragonal. So we know Kragonal is not Scarf, um, thanks to that neat little piece of info. Um, that's a lot of damage I really don't want SMB to take. Doesn't this thing get Levitate? It does! Look at that. Hmm, that's not fun. Muck's really actually pretty fairly hard for my team to deal with. Um, I also realized the massive ice weakness I now have <laughs> in regards to this Gragonal. Um, but as long as I have Blacephal on a split spin block, Blacephal on is always a free switch in on Gragonal, which is pretty good. As he just goes straight into Cryog again. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Um, we know it's not Scarf. I don't have bullet punch on scissor. I can actually just go straight into scissor and make him fear the bullet punch. <laughs> which, which is a neat little thing, I think. Um, if he stays in, then he's a, a, a god amongst men. Uh, <laughs> as it should be. He should fear the bullet punch. Um, though he probably thinks that I'm a regular set because I didn't just stay in and U-turn when Muck was in. Um, and he should think that. Oh, we know he's leftovers now, so we don't need to keep that around. So, we still don't know what Muck is, um, or anything. Yes! It worked! Alright, so we can knock him off. From his assault vest, nice. Um, still don't want to take that fire punch damage. But bite does not do enough damage. Um, how much did that knockoff do? It did 12. Oh. Typically offensive luck. Okay, with assault vest. Oh, this thing thick. <laughs> this thing really thick. Um, he's probably just gonna go for another knockoff or a fire punch. <clears throat> Again, Splork is always safe. Um, yeah, here now I can freely Earthquake. Um, here I can actually click Earthquake, and the reason why is because I don't fear Kragonal coming in. Uh, Jerry is always gonna come in, and since it doesn't have a Salt Vest anymore, um, it doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, Earthquake was 100% the play there. So now what's he gonna bring in is the question. Um, Serp's a bit of an issue as well. Um, cause Fire Blast goes through, f or Fire, HP Fire goes through three of my mons. Does he know I'm Savali Grass? I'm 
window into superior. Wow. Well, Spork eats that for breakfast, so. Unfort. That is truly unfortunate. Um. Though, if it was Specs. Uh, still doesn't kill. So, there's no issue for me there, really. Um. Cherry? <laughs> Leftovers. Okay, so it literally didn't matter. Um, it just would have been chip off on Spork. Which is fine. Uh, don't miss the Fire Blast, please, Jerry. I can't have you do the same thing that you did to me when we battled Yuri. <coughs> nice. 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 Um, in should come in Sylveon. Or in Sylveon should come. English is a difficult language. Um, even then, I don't know if it matters. He probably, my guess, is gonna go Thunderous. Quite obvious that it's Scarf. I wouldn't have brought it in uh, anyway if it wasn't. Maybe if it was like a Salt Vest, that'd be kind of cool actually. Um, but that's a lot of damage still. Anyway, um, something I forgot to say like nine minutes ago. So originally, um, we missed our battle time because of the, d the hour difference. Uh, Normally he's GMT time and I'm MST, MDT, and my Mountain Daylight time. Uh, on Fort. And um, GMT, the Brits, get their hour shift uh, earlier than we do over in uh, Canada, where I am. Uh, so he, well, uh, I wasn't aware that they were gonna have their time shift. So they were six hours ahead, the, literally the day of the plan of our battle. Uh, does Sylveon live? Actually, it doesn't matter, because I just blow it back, not once, but twice, as long as I don't miss. Um... Yeah, so the day of the battle, we missed our battle time by an hour, because he planned out his day already. Uh, the Fred's very busy. And, again, I apologize for sounding like a complete ass to you. You didn't deserve that. Yummy. <laughs> Holy shit. If it's Protect, then it actually keeps living, in which case, Scizor is pretty fucking good! I just want to go Scizor anyway. Piss on it, you gotta have Protect! Aha! Switch into my Iron Head, boy! <coughs> um, yeah, so... I, I was kind of arguing with him for no reason whatsoever. Uh, and I originally, he gave me the FF30 win, but GS said, oh, you guys can still make up your battle anyway, it doesn't matter. Boom. And it's lefties as well. Uh, ooh, oops, I doubled up on Superior for some odd reason. Oh, is this his scissor switching? It totally is, too. That's cool. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah. So originally I, uh, hey, stop. <laughs> That's not cool. Leftovers bulk up? I'm slower, so. Anyway, um, yeah, so originally I would have gotten the 3 0 win, but Gia said we could redo our. We could still do our battle if uh, both parties agreed, and we did. We wanted to do the battle because that's. <laughs> um, having an FF win is never fun. Um, I'm, yeah, it's no, it's never fun. It's never fun. No matter what you say, it's not fun. So, I of course, said yes, please. Um, he also put, like, leftovers on four of his mons. I'm assuming Bronzon will be leftovers too. Um, let's see what he wants to do here. Yeah, 
no, 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 Every word of circumstance, he should switch. <laughs> he didn't! Oh, you god! Get me! Get me! Yeah! <laughs> oh, good job. Nice. That's pretty funny. Uh, I honestly didn't think he would uh, actually stay in and risk just outright losing the game. Alright, so that confirms Levitate, I guess. Maybe. Um, now, Lander Thunderous comes in and dies anyway. So I fail to see the overall point in that. You just wanted rocks up? Sure. I'm good at agility. Fuck it. I didn't get to the stage being careful, boys. <clears throat> it gets heat, heat wave, doesn't it? I could have sworn it got a fire type move. That isn't Sunny Day or HP Fire. Oh, okay. Oh, if I agility. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> well, what do you come out into now? Um, he still only knows two of my moves. Knock off an iron head. Oh. Um. He doesn't think I have bullet punch. I live. Nothing wrong with that. And now he's left with Bronzong and Sylveon. Sylveon does not take an Iron Head, I don't think, unless it's some kind of special set. Whew. Sylveon, you are so fat. <laughs> um, yeah. So he didn't outright lose to, um, you know. Oh, he's not leftovers on this thing. What is he, Rocky Helmet? A berry? Oh, I killed. Shuka. He was heatproof Shuka. Or maybe he accidentally made himself levitate on this mod. Uh, I'm willing to bet that's what it is. Ah. Uh. <coughs> so it's a shame. It's a shame that uh, the scissor set didn't work out, but that's fine. Um, because those who don't watch this battle won't know what the set is. Nice. Okay, he'll just protect there. Cool. And P2 and, uh, Silvalli never hit the field. HOLY GOD! Wow! Sylveon dropped. <sighs> I got an equal amount of HP and attack, and this is cool. Alright, so I'll save the replay. Ah, and you weren't. Oh, that is unfortunate. Though, I don't really know how much of a difference that would have made. Sure, it's a good backup um, to deal with Bacephalon, but Bacephalon still kind of doesn't get through Sylveon all that well, unless it's got, like, two special attack boosts. Um, but there we go. It's a pr pretty good battle. Uh, he got me. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that he actually stayed in with that thing. Because it's like, well, he should switch. But, I get, I get. Let's check a replay of the battle. I want to see that Sylveon take its damage from Fire Blast. Oh, I skipped it. Oops, my mistake. 52? So if you switched it into Sylveon, Sylveon would have died, I guess. Yeah, never mind. That was the play. He had to go for it, which was my mistake. 
Um, I'm, that's another six that I've lost out on. Which uh, makes me sound like, you know, what sort of look for cocky and all that crap. Uh, I'm not. I've just been in how many draft leagues? I can, I've lost count at this point, and I've never once gotten a 6-0 on someone. So, uh, yeah, let's get that battle into uh, replays. And it sounds like someone's home. Man versus Brett. Week 5. Eat. And there we go. Um, I don't really know what to say. I honestly thought bringing Zygarde wasn't a bad idea, even though fully defensive Negus's or probably just dealt with it pretty well. Uh, I'm on, you know, Lando and that sort of stuff, but, you know, that's how it goes. Everyone, every coach has their thought process and on what they should bring and all that. Um, personally, uh, I 100% thought uh, Zygarde, Sylveon, uh, Serp, you had he had to bring a Lola Muck, uh, thunderous, and it was a toss up between um, this guy here and Chandelier for me, which would of course create a more offensive oriented team. Uh, but I figured it was probably a better bet because uh, there's no way I was bringing Pex. So and not with Zygarde on his team, no way am I bringing Pex. But there we go, he made his choice and we battled. Team building's only half of it, as they say, not even. It's depending upon how you use it. So. That's week five's battle, even though now it's currently week six. Week six, I battle Aaron, who I believe has one of the scariest teams in the draft. Nope, I'm thinking of another one, but it's still pretty up there, I think. He's also gotten a 6 0, as you can see, which is pretty terrifying. Uh, of course, Celestila uh, mixed with Mega Main and Ments. Ments is an issue and could potentially sweep me, but I've already got basically my team built and ready to go for him, so. Uh, Fingers crossed it works. Anyway, I'm done. I need to get up out of here. I've been talking too much, like usual. So, um, yeah, GG again to Brett. And we're coming for Aaron in week six. Woo!